Hi guys, Luton here, and uh, I'm looking today at this defense video We're on uh, the pipeline, and you can see right here my LAV laying down the fire, and this is a really good, this is a good example on here, just two small sections showing the damage that can happen if you leave a vehicle unchecked. This is especially true for defenders, because defense really need, and look at this, driving, this is another good thing to not do right here, yeah, don't bunch up. Don't bunch up, because this is what happens. I just wiped out half the team right there in about three seconds. Uh, I took out a good five, six people there uh, just by driving up and spamming them down. No real skill or any kind of involvement required whatsoever there. And it all comes from bunching up. It's something that I regularly tell people not to do. Don't bunch up. If you bunch up, the only thing that's going to happen is that. Okay, or somebody's going to come around the corner with an LMG or an AK or whatever, trying to take the guy on the bike there with a guided shell. Anyway, this video right here, you can see that we're we're taking almost no fire at all. And this is what would have happened on the, the previous, the first and second base. Again, we were just moving up the road, no fire put onto us at all. Um, I've got smoke, so if I start to get locked, I can just break that straight away. And they start to finally, here we are, the lock that's coming in right now, you can hear that, all right? Getting this one in, it's coming from the helicopter. And uh, you can see I take a small amount of hit there from the helicopter. And those guys go down. But again, see, it's so important to deal with these vehicles because if you don't, you can really just be destroyed by them. Vehicles output so much damage and they, they're in such a, a sort of strong position to move around and lay down fire with impunity. No one person is going to take them down. So you need to, as a team, focus your fire. And it's something that just doesn't happen enough. Now, I have been in games where enemies neutralize vehicle armor almost instantly as it arrives and those games are the ones you find are tough. They are the really hard games. I remember recently we had a game on my server lasted a good sort of 30-40 minutes on a rush game because each base was so hard fought. It really was a battle for each single base and they were neutralizing enemy armor as it was coming in so hard that they were really making everyone work for those tickets. The, the attackers weren't sitting back but they had to work so hard. Now here we are coming into the last base. I just want to point out as well, people always take the direct route which is the route that I'm taking right now, just straight down this hill. But if you're finding that that's, that's too difficult because there's no cover there, it's very open this whole left hand side here. Go to the right, because nobody ever goes over that right-hand side there by the B, yeah, the other side of the pipeline. Use that, there's so many trees and cover, you can just flank around the base, and nobody ever uses that. Now, a weird thing, and a good thing to think about for this next base here, you can see, as I drive in, look, where is everybody? Now, that you might think, oh, well, Luton, you know, you've just you've moved down so fast that they haven't had a chance to move forward and you've kind of pushed through really quickly. No, I, w I actually cut out a whole section right here. I cut out a good 20 seconds of me driving all the way around the back of this hill here on the other side, all right, by the... Uh by the Sea Conquest base, driving all the way around the warehouses there because I was trying to find those guys camping at the back. So they had all that time to move forward and take control of their base and they just haven't. So again, it's, it's another good example of people not taking you know the leads, not sort of pushing forward hard enough. Um, but this is a good example. See the damage this LAV is doing at this stage in the game. Had they dealt with me earlier on, they maybe wouldn't have had that to contend with. And then maybe you see, maybe their tank could have actually held control of the base until their team members had moved forward. So you see how things kind of have a knock-on effect by not dealing with me and, and look at me and Scorpion here. Just because we were in that vehicle there, we really thrashed through the kills and it's simply because we were not dealt with. It's simple as that. If they had just uh, allotted maybe two, three players to try and focus us down, at the very least it would have meant that we would have had to pull back. I wouldn't have been able to be so aggressive with the tank. I would have had to stay back and I'd have been like, oh god, I'm taking some fire here. But instead, no. And you know we just rolled over them with the tank and it's because of that thanks for watching today guys leave your thoughts how do you find it in teams with vehicles and uh, see you next time